going on guys? It's Boss Ross LP and welcome back for more Pokemon Pearl. In the last episode, we made our way to this cave over here, which I don't remember what it's called. I think it might be Union Cave, probably not. That's probably the name of something else. There's Rock Tomb for us, which will be a very handy TM, which I can only probably teach to a certain someone we know. Yeah. But once it becomes a certain once a certain battle becomes leveled up, perhaps we shall have ourselves a rock tomb. Snake demon fucking thing. With any sort of luck and certainty, who knows. But for right now, let's just get the hell out of this cave. Get me out of here. Alrighty then. Eh, some people do that. That is actually a pretty fun run. Like, I remember going through uh, a good bit of the 6th uh, gen using a full grass team. It was like starter, of course. It was Celebi, uh, it was Tropius, uh, I think it was, no, it wasn't a Badoo, it was, uh, I don't remember what it was. It might have been the Bractus, maybe? I don't remember what it was. Well, whatever, you get the point. It was just an all-grass team. It was pretty fun, actually, though there were a lot of problems with it. It was a, it was a challenging run. I find it a lot more interesting and challenging actually than a Nuzlocke, which a Nuzlocke can be trivialized by just training the shit out of one Pokemon. And it sort of becomes a grind fest, and that makes it incredibly boring, so that is the main problem with Nuzlocke's that I, uh, I pose to you guys. Of course, you can make your own rules, like say, maybe you can only encounter five Pokemon per route. That would be ridiculous, and I guess you'd have to run away from all others no matter what happens. That'd be weird. Like, even if you find a shiny, even if you find, like, a fucking Megalodon demon of death, there's the Cheruby. Fuck Cheruby. Cheruby is one of the worst Pokemon. At least when it evolves, it gets a nice little ability, but it's a cherry Pokemon. It's the cherry on top of the shitty Pokemon design Sunday. It's just so stupid. Look at the thing. Ooh! wants Cherubi? Just look at it. It's like Sunkern version 2.0, and even Sunkern I like. Just for how stupid it is. Uh, anyway, just rock smash it. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Bam, bam. God Tackle hasn't missed yet in this episode. I mean, it's only been three minutes, and I don't think it missed in the last episode either, so that's more what I'm referring to. And even when Bao gets Tackle, he's not going to be able to do shit. That attack is atrocious. Alright, what do we got here? We got an Awakening. I wish it was Link's Awakening, but no, it's just a regular ass Awakening, so whatever. And I missed a bug catch, huh? What's my opinion of bug Pokemon? Uh, depends on the bug. Pretty much anything from first gen is kind of shit. Well, sort of. Pinsir's okay. Then you get Scissor, which pretty much replaces uh, that. You get Heracross, which replaces uh, Pinsir. You get fucking uh, everything better with the Pokemon. Book book. You get Mega Horn in the second gen. Then third gen rolls around and actually starts throwing out uh, more useless book Pokemon. Not actually very many useful ones. In fact, there weren't too many bug Pokemon gen 3, oddly enough. They had to be like secondary type gem Pokemon, or bug Pokemon, I mean, that. Let's go for Rock Smash and this bug type, which means it won't do much at all. Actually, wait a minute. I thought Rock was super effective against bug. Wait. Oh, wait, this is fighting. I'm being stupid. Rock Smash is fighting. Right, right. If I had a Rock move, that would be very super effective, huh? Great. Alright. Please don't do too much damage. Uh, I mean, I want to do a lot of damage, not, not him. Just don't do too much damage to me. Don't attack quickly, is basically what I'm going to say. There you go. Cricket Tots are just basically walking bombs at this point in the game. They appear randomly on the other trainers, and they are bombs. If you ram them too hard, they are going to blow up in your face. Alright. Man, I'm switching from every single Pokemon, but it's like, it's Wurmples and shit like that. Not, not anything that's going to give you anything good in terms of experience. Uh, 
Uh, what is this new area? Is coming up? Uh, God damn, stop yawning. This next area that's coming up will be very useful. Because you're going to find a companion of sorts. And that companion is going to give you something very useful that you can use to train up your Pokemon. And you'll see what I mean by that. Either way, let's continue a tackle. That should be your death. I tell you, you did. The Colonel. Alrighty. Bug catchers look a lot cooler in this game. Like, they, they just look intense. Oh, hey, a double bell. Thank God. There's a cut bush which you can't use yet. And let's go. God forbid they figured out how to make Pokemon's move. Like, they. Yeah, God damn it. They figured out how to make double battle trainers move and not just have to be talked to in order to be battle ready. I think Emerald is the game that fixed that, but, you know, technically, this game did it first as a main series gen. Though I guess Emerald does what I'm trying to say. Basically, this is the first game I played where they uh, made it able for uh, double battle trainers to move. They did not have that in third gen, as far as I know, since I, always, I only played Sapphire. So I can't tell you for certain, but whatever. Anyway, Pachirisu is completely worthless. I know someone won with a Pachirisu in a tournament, however, these are not tournament competitive Pachirisus. So, they use in Quick Attack, and I guarantee you, anything that that guy did not have a Pachirisu with Quick Attack on it, I can rather guarantee you that. How? Well, let, let me tell you. Just just watch how much damage it does. There it went. It was quite impressive, right? Guess they must have uh, identified Bao as the ultimate threat here, considering his splashes are doing a .00 damage. That is very scary, and if you used it in succession, it may rise to zero damage. Quite possibly. This damage happened instantaneously, like it does in uh, other games. Like, both are hit at the same time. Alright, I forgot I could do this. This will be very helpful. Tell me how much HP they're doing to me in terms of damage, and that is a 3. Glorious. Thank you, Bao, for your integral part to this battle. Bye, Pachirisu, you're completely worthless. Pretty much, I don't know, I guess he's somewhat useful. Alright, well, good to go. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. God damn it. What is it this time? Hooray, it's not a bird for once, it's a cricket dot, which would be awesome to train up. Almost tempted, but it's a bug type, and that's rather close to grass type. They have very similar weaknesses in flying and in fire, so I'm just not even gonna bother with it. Bullet seed. That is useful, I guess. That is physical and is more accurate than razor leaf. However, I do believe that razor leaf is the better move to have at this point. So I shall save that bullet seed for someone else who can possibly use it. And another Pokemon Center heal. Oh, hey, I just noticed the downstairs is open now. I forget what that does. It's probably just linking bullshit that I can't even use, but we'll go find out. Yep. What do we have here? Mm hmm. Oh, it's a Wi Fi club. I forgot all about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. This was the first game that used Wi Fi, so you know. Understood. Mm -hmm. That's glorious. Man, this this setup was very simple back then, but it's gotten a lot less simple as time has gone on. A lot more intricate. <coughs> sure. Oh, I can I can. Oh, that's awesome! I can write my autograph. Here we go. All right.
Hold on. Yep. There you go. Thank you for that. That was, uh, very, very, you know, that was a thing. <laughs> Alright, let's just go. Enough dicking around. Enough butting around. I thought we were done for what she thought she was gonna die. That's pretty morbid. This game is a lot like Entry and Odyssey, except for the fact that people don't die in this game. Well, I guess they technically do. There's graveyards, but whatever. That's just one of the coolest things about Entry. There's just so much death everywhere, despite how happy of a game it is. Well, it seems like most people are happy. There's like morbid thoughts everywhere, though. I definitely want to do Entry. That would be a fun game to do. Ah, shit. Ooh, actually, you know what? I just thought. There's a Pokemon I could catch here. I could catch a Drift Blim. Or whatever the last name is. Or, uh... Yeah, Drift Blim is the evolved form, so I'm thinking of, uh... The lower form. I don't remember what the hell it's called. The pre-evolved form. Oh! What do we got here? Huh. Well, alright. Well, I got you, little girl. I doubt the, uh, the balloons have flown in, though. Oh, god damn it. No. No! I don't want you. I kind of want to try for it, but no. It's just... It's just not worth it. No, no. Weasel? Interesting. I see a lot of weasels, but... Fortunately, I already have my water type, so I guess I ain't going for you. What else do we got here? There has to be something I can find as useful. Alright, well, at least it's not the bird. I'm fine if it's a bee -doof. Always fine with bee -doofs. Never fine with birds. I'm, I'm sick and tired of seeing that fucking bird, man. Sick of it, man. So sick of it. And it's a bunch of the same with the weasels. Weasels. Yep, I'm guessing that this is probably going to be what I'm mainly finding from here. I don't think we can find the Drift Bloom, or whatever the hell his name is. Uh, do I want a Pachirisu? Do I really want to go through that? Alright, here's the deal. If you can do something pretty cool in the next one move, then uh, I'll, I'll catch you for my team. You can bide? The fuck can the thing bide? It has like 2 HP! Alright, well fine. If you want to be... Like, that's kind of cool, I guess. That's hilariously stupid that it has bide, but alright. Let's go, man. I guess you're going to be team member number three. Why the fuck does it know why? Alright, let's go for tackle. This shouldn't kill it. Alright, wow, that thing is pretty bulky. Another tackle will do it some wonders. Oh, that attack. That attack. Why? Watch a Rizu, why? Get in the ball. So I'll use a heal ball, why not? Just so I can start training up here immediately. I'll probably train this fucker off screen. There we go. Oh boy. I got me a black rasu. Why am I doing this to myself? I don't know. Either way, what to call this thing? I'm thinking of something right now. However, that's a mole, so I don't think I want to call it that. Though I technically could. What would I call it? Uh, it's that thing from, uh, what the hell is its name? Hmm. Are there any, like, squirrel hamster things? Well, Zubra will give me ideas, but for right now I do have one, so I'll just go with that. And this is from Gurren Login. It's the, uh, mole thing. Whatever the hell his name is. Buta. Buta shall be his name. 
he is friends with Simon. He's, he's a little, really small mole rat that becomes big, sort of, at one point. But, you know, just, just random. Buta. Getting jiggy with it. I think it's a pretty fitting name. Except Buddha's an awesome character, and this thing is just... Though I will admit, those stats are surprisingly okay. That special defense is actually pretty impressive. Also, he has 26 HP with 7. How? Damn, this thing must be high-end HP. Alright, well, this is a physical... Oh, that attack. Why? Okay. Well, let's see if I can buff this sh piece of shit up with some TMs. Well, I guess it's gonna be my flash bit her flash bitch. That's definitely gonna be a thing. Alright, what else do we got here? Can you learn bullet seed? Nope, of course not. Actually, what is your ability? Is your ability static? I didn't check that. It's a hardy nature, which means he's neutral. He has pickup. Ooh. Hey, maybe this gotta be a little bit useful then. Alright. Alright, Buta. Let's see what you can do. Hopefully you'll be able to learn Spark sooner or later, or at least Thundershock. You should learn Spark. That should technically be his first. He seems pretty equal in special attack and attack, so he'll be a mixed attacker, though he seems pretty bulky, honestly. Anyway, seriously, what's that? What am I? Huh. Uh, sure. So, when we come back next time for more Pokemon Pearl, uh, I guess I'll have Butol trained up a little bit. Not too terribly much, but I'll train him up a little bit more so maybe he'll be uh, viable as a usable Pokemon. I think that would actually be rather smart. Well, you know what? Before we end off the episode, how about we explore around the uh, aroma shop first? Why not? The florist shop, I suppose, is the better name. And we get the spray duck, which is a hilarious item. I kind of wish it would return, but it doesn't. We get the Whelmer Pale, though. That returned. But the Spray Duck? No, no, nothing's as good as the Spray Duck. Thank you for the Worthless Berry that heals uh, sleep, I believe. And accessories. A ridiculous amount of berries for shitty accessories. Alright, well, out of here. Hmm. Who really would get into the accessories as much? I really don't know the answer to that. Not gonna worry about it. Now, for real. See you guys next time. Buta, you're going on permanent training duty. See you guys for that next time. Later, y'all.